hi welcome to the channel yeah basically i recovered this one last weekend you saw what happened this car break down while she driving then after that she called to her breakdown cover they attend to the car and they said something not right with the cam belt this vehicle has a one liter eco boost engine then they suspect it snap or oh, something similar problem for the like that then after that uh, she recovered to her home she called to the another mobile mechanic and he turned up and he also comment about the timing belt however after that she called us and asked me i have a ford c max 2017 the two guys said cam belt not right or cam belt snap or something but i need your correct advice is it snap or not i said look i don't have any system to check what happened inside the engine but i can strip the engine then i can show you what happened to your engine but however if they say your cam bell snap we need to get ready for the rebuild the engine new cam bell sometime new valve depend on the speed and the depend on the effect so then i told to her look i will strip off your car and i will find out what's the problem she is not happy little bit but she said you are mechanic you must to know i know but some scenarios like this very tricky because it's not visual anything because i don't want to crank 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 and give more trouble for the engine engine after that get worse then i don't want to do that day i said look if you happy i'll do my assessment remove bits and pieces and find out what's going on right okay let's jump to the job and you have a look what's going on this car first of all i'm going to strip the top section rocker cover open the top area and this side i'm going to remove the vacuum pump normally the that's one also common failures we'll see step by step once i strip the half away i'll come back to you right i open the rocker cover remove the whole fuel line and all bits and bits yeah then after that i already remove the vacuum pump in here oil go through here basically you can see it's all junk up things build up basically this pick up block it won't go inside the oil now this pump sees up i couldn't turn we'll see with the screwdriver a tiny turning but i can't do by hand it's need to speed pinning basically this vacuum pump sees up now right this is the first problem have a look here lot of thing file up see lot of junk stuff file up see all belt pieces lot here right this is the problem with the wet cam belt you need to maintain your regular service and you need to use proper oil otherwise you ending with like this i couldn't see the flake from the belt but belt look like to me okay teeth okay but however i'm going to spin by hand and have a look anything happen however i need to open the cover but before the cover i'm going to just quick look spin in the crank and have a look yeah at the moment i can't see any damage for the teeth however i'll strip it off and come back to you right next step i'm going underneath and remove the sump cover first and 
visually inspects anything find out from the sump cover then after that i'm going to disconnect the oil pump have a look ah yeah we got something have a look all metal stuff yeah see the this is i think from the piston this is snap rim for the cone rod yeah another lot of chunk of piston yeah see another big piece of the piston yeah i'm going underneath and show you what happened underneath before that i'm going to remove the oil pump and come back to you right remove the oil pump ah. oh, sorry bit water <laughs> have a look inside the oil pump all block yeah right okay right now we'll see what happened to the cone rod then piston cone rod play around you can see uh, cylinder number two yeah too good and the one yeah one okay but only the problem cylinder number three half a piston missing there okay right now we know the whole problem okay i'll come out right before customer has a problem charlie you are the mechanic you don't know what happened inside exactly yes i don't know what happened the inside port side recovery guy not right he said cam belt he is not right and mobile mechanic guy he is not right and i told to the customer over the phone look until i'll open the engine i'm not sure but however i can comment it could be the timing belt could be vacuum pump could be oil pump could be piston could be valves but now i have a confidence answer 100 percent i can say to the customer look your uh, vacuum pump ah it's turning now yeah it's turning now but however when i take it it's huge ah it's again seize up yeah it won't turn yeah now i can say to the customer look your vacuum pump seize up number one and number two your oil pump pick up 100 percent block and number three your piston and engine Kapoto, whatever you can use the name, but however, engine finish. Basically, this car need a new engine, no use engine, whatever. At the moment, we can't use the same engine because inside the bore, all damage, huge scratch mark there. Not advised to anyone to use this engine until we need to do the sleeve because if I do the sleeve, it's expensive i don't want to touch however this customer need a use new engine or brand new engine whatever i'm going to call to the customer and explain i have a confidence answer now yeah if you have a eco boost engine like this one liter could be that this is the problem could be something else until someone open the engine no one doesn't know what's going on there this is the evidence yeah if you need any help like this problem because we already recovered this car to us and we dig into the problem we go step by step and we found out what's going on then we know the answer if you're looking something like that call us we can record to our garage and we can open the engine and we can let you know what's going on and what's happened also we can do the repair Thanks for watching. If you have any question, comment, suggestion, comment below. I'll come back to you. Also, if you need to join with us, our WhatsApp group, 
there is a link below. You can click that link and join with us our WhatsApp group. We done one Ford Fiesta, Ford Focus. I think three videos there. If you want to find out how is the cam belt going on and how we done for the, that repair. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Also, if someone asks what's the causing for the problem, first thing need to maintain well, need to proper service, need to use proper oil. In this scenario, I'm assuming, because I'm not 100% to say like that, but assuming oil pump block, then oil not get into the top section, it's not circulating, and the same time, piston also damaged.